I started giving blood actually back in high school. My classmates and I decided that I wanted to get out of class too. And I, I remember when I was like eight years old, my mom would disappear and go give blood and come back. And then one day she was in the paper for donating two gallons and she was like, hey, there's my name. And I thought that was so cool that my mom's name was in the paper for donating two gallons of blood that I just decided I'd keep doing it. Uh, I am over a gallon uh, and I donated last night. So a gallon and a pint more or less. Uh, you can do it every four weeks and they call me every three weeks to set up my appointment for one week later. So I'd say give it a try. I mean, it's not any more difficult than giving blood. In fact, it's probably more comfortable because you sit up instead of laying down. I've, I've been known to take a nap a time or two while it's going on. It's not anything any more painful than giving blood, which really doesn't hurt. Generally afterwards, I'll get myself a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. There's a 7-Eleven right by the Michigan Blood uh, that I go to, and that's one of my favorite things to do anyway, so this is an excuse. Uh, my grandfather used to donate as well. Um, when I was younger, he, um, he donated all the time, and then he was diagnosed with Parkinson's and couldn't do it anymore. But also, my wife is a doctor uh, at one of the children's hospitals, and they use platelets for the kids in the intensive care unit. And she said, they, they never have too many. If I can do two and a half hours worth of sitting and it helps somebody, I mean, it's the least I can do. It's, it's not any real, anything really painful other than pulling the Band-Aids off at night. And uh, it's, it's a good thing to do for people. I would just say find a time that works for you for two hours. Everybody's got some point during their week when they can spare a couple hours.